in uh, coaching, it's like, it's just expectations. You know, it's like, it's really important trying to explain it to guys, not just right now after the game, but really all week. And, um, you know, I was, I was disappointed in tonight. I really appreciated the crowd, the students that came out during finals and stuff, but I didn't think that we we kept into our, our end of the bargain tonight. You know, to play so hard um, and really well in a lot of ways last week and to come out in this game, you know, we had a real chance tonight to have a maturity step and show some things, and we just we just didn't do it. And, um, you know, it's a player's game. Coaches coach players, so it's all of us. Um, just kind of I thought it was a disappointing effort. Our defense in the first half was – about as weak as we played all year, um, but taking nothing away from the opponent. That's a good team. They got three guards that could play in our league and got a good coach and a lot of depth. That's a good basketball team. Um, but from our point of view, I didn't think we guarded in the first half. In the second half, you know, it's like the game within the game. We have another chance to maybe blow it open, show some maturity, and then um, just just didn't get it done down the stretch. So like, you know, expectations are everything. I tell the players that, you know, we got a couple fathers in our locker room, and hopefully every guy in our locker room will be a father at some point in life. And you got your kids one day. You know, you're not going to say, "Please go to school and pass your classes." You know, you're going to say, "Please go to school and strive to be the best you can, make all A's, and have an expectation for yourself." And and I think right now we just have different expectations in the locker room. I don't think everybody's on the same page with the expectations of what should be expected. You know, with our team each day. So. Um, Fortunate to win. It's always better to learn lessons after wins. But um, I just think we're kind of robbing banks right now. You know, we're, we're not getting caught, uh, but we're robbing a bank. And eventually we're going to get caught. And um, our team's just got to show more maturity and more consistency. I mean, you guys see it. Uh, Saturday we played, you know, one of the best teams in the country. We're going pound for pound, punch for punch. And tonight, again, no disrespect to the opponent. That's a good basketball team with good players. But – I thought from our standpoint, we didn't play well tonight. Um, so, you know, back back to work tomorrow and, and see if we can't get everybody in our program on the same page of expectations. I think that's a big a big thing uh, with our team. Any questions for Juju, who had a great individual game? Um, Juju, it just seems like I think you had 15 assists last two games. I think nine of them have gone to Matt Morrell. Um, What's what's that relationship like on the court? Do you feel like you guys make each other better? Um, yeah, I feel like me and Matt make each other better. You know, I try to, you know, listen to Coach when he tell me, you know, like before anything, try to find your teammates, find Allen transition, find Matt in transition because besides Matt shooting, he's a great athlete. So, you know, me passing the ball up to him could get something good for us. So I just try to just kick it up to both of my athletes, Matt and, and, Matt and Al. Adding to that, um, How's it been for you kind of settling into a, a more of a point guard role in this team? I mean, it's good because, like I always say, I believe in my coaches and they believe in me. And I feel like the opportunity that Coach Big gave to me, I got to just stand up to it. You know, he always talking about me being a point guard, me being a leader. So I just got to step up to the plate.